Hey everybody, we're back for an update on the uh, factory heated seats. Uh, I ran into some issues with the controller, basically because of the way that these things communicate. Uh, being that one of them is one address and the other one is the other address, that's fine, except for the, the responses that they send are the same. So if this is sending a six for this, it'll send a six for this also where you differentiate is on your controller uh, hold on, turn on TV off there you differentiate on your controller based on the address response because they have separates. Well the controller that I'm using right now because it's a little bit cheaper you know it's it's not uh, a factory setup it has a hard time differentiating whether or not this one sent it or that one sent it so in essence one uh, or both sides would control the same output. Uh, so Luckily, uh, I've, I've got multiple, uh, well, I say multiple, I've got two lens uh, networks that I can use on it. So what I've effectively done is is put the driver's side on one lens network and the passenger side on the other lens network. Uh, I'm going to see if I can work around that and get it back onto one lint, on both of them on one lens network and get the, uh, the logic working. But that's beside the point. As you can see, uh, since the last time I posted, I've got the MOSFET uh, four channel power supply here uh, everything's kind of piecemealed together right now ignore all that we're still in the test phase eventually I'll pull these off solder the uh, the output wires directly in and then we've got a nice it said this is four channels so for heated seats this will control you know both heated seats back seat back seat etc etc I've got a generic uh, heated seat element hooked up here and and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to really see my uh, my heat gun, but I'll I'll take some readings on here. We're reading about 78 degrees right now, and I've only got tied into the back setting on the driver's side. So if we hit her up in high. Actually, let's go to low first. So we were at 78, and uh, we're already up to about 80 on here on low. And honestly, low doesn't get super hot. You know, uh, you wouldn't notice, especially because it's it's probably 75 in here. So uh, if it were 40 degrees out here, low would be a lot warmer. But as it is right now, 80 degrees is, is uh, fairly decent. So let's go ahead and jump her up to medium now. And we're, we were at 80, and it normally takes about two minutes for this stuff to settle out. But uh, here we're jumping up. We're about to 83. So I still, well, maybe even hit 84. I still got some tuning to do. You can see the light flashing. Uh, that corresponds with the output from our controller that's pulsing to create the variable voltage basically and so we're not you know going all the way into high and we're getting to about 85 degrees on this one so give or take I mean hell we may even hit 86 as I said I haven't adjusted I haven't played much with the outputs to to differentiate the different levels of high medium and low and so now we'll go to high boom as you see the light stays on that means we're putting 12 volts straight across to it uh, you know we're already up to 92 degrees still climbing so this thing's getting warm pretty good uh, surprisingly I didn't think that this little MOSFET board would be able to handle the load because it said it was only good for up to two and a half uh, to be honest two and a half amps to be honest I haven't ran it a long time and I, and I haven't checked the uh, the load on here uh, as it gets warmer, your resistance goes down, so it's the initial phase of, of getting this thing warmed up that's going to be the issue. Uh, but it hasn't been an issue, and in, in the, in the FETs here are not getting that hot. Well, this is the one, the, the far right one's the only one we're using right now because we're just using one element. Uh, man, that thing's warm. Where are we up to? 92, 93, 94. You definitely, oh, hey, we're down to about 100, 103 down here. So, nice and warm. Uh, as I said, this is just the back. I'm, I'll continue writing the logic on. Hopefully, maybe if I get a chance this weekend, I'll pull this, the driver's seat out. I haven't bought any more elements besides just one seat's worth of elements. But maybe I can pull the driver's seat out this weekend and, and throw the elements in the seat and at least get the driver's side done and hooked up. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out. Most likely what I'll do is I'll mount this uh, under my center console towards the rear. I've got a power distribution block there that I can tie in. And then, you know, all I'll have to do from the controllers is bring four wires for the different uh, controls. And this is essentially uh, the same thing as we were seeing 
in that uh, heater control module if you watched my second video I put out a little while ago. So this this it's simple in the fact that it does the same thing, it just doesn't have the LEN. Even to the point where one of the ICs on here looks to be almost exactly the same IC as what's being used on that other one. Uh, so it's accomplishing the same thing just without direct LEN communication between the two devices. I'll still uh, try and give the other one a shot of firing it up and talking to it with the LEN controller and seeing if it's possible to communicate between the switches to it or uh, make it easier to pass the data from the switches to it instead of using this. But honestly, this is about the easiest way to do it right now. I've got plenty of digital outs that I can use for the other parts of the seats. There should be enough even to do the uh, air conditioned seats whenever we get to that point, which is quite a ways away, I'm guessing, at this point in time, because I don't, don't really have any easy way of testing that stuff out. I can go through and theorize the way it all operates by looking at the drawings, and part of it has to do with uh, the heater, the heat control, I don't know. I just know that there is some kind of element in there that whenever it is, uh, you know, powered up, it actually cools off. It's, you know, does the opposite of what these things do. And, uh, and then the other part of it is just the, the fan, the blower. And the blower may not ramp. It may just be a, uh, a dead short uh, to turn on and, and just run at one speed and then it varies the voltage to that uh, cooling element that's in there so that's that's down the road a ways going to keep on focusing on this hope to have uh, implementation of this thing here in, in the next week or two completely both sides you know this side's still powered up it's just not doing anything right now so I'm focusing on finish the logic for the back in the full seat heat uh, I'll dial in the temperatures to try and get some more variation where, you know, maybe I'll have to throw this damn thing in the freezer and, and cool it off so I can see where it actually comes in on low and medium. I know high comes in at, you know, uh, just between 95 and 100 degrees, but it's hard to tell where low's at right now because, as I said, just naturally sitting here, it's already at 76 degrees. So, But that's about it. Uh, short video. I say that. We're about to hit eight minutes. Any questions, let me know. I'll keep you guys updated. Everything seems to be working pretty good so far. Thanks.